Uh, what's up, YouTube? Um, since I finally finished my arcade, I felt that uh, since I had so much, I went online and looked for so many people to help me, I felt like I needed to help someone. And the only thing I actually did it, I couldn't find online, or that, was actually making the coin door fully functional. Um, actually, the electric part, just making the bulbs work, I, I'll put a link on it, you can, and you can go check it out, this guy helped me a lot. Uh, but the actual thing I wanted to do was be able to put coins in there, as an option, of course. I'm not dumb, I'm not going to waste away coins for no reason. I just like having an authentic feel. Um, I couldn't find it online for some weird reason, maybe because it was so simple. Um, the thing is, the coin door mechanism is basically a switch, much like all, all the buttons. If you did your own wiring and you use like an uh, iPad or something, it will be fairly obvious to hook up. But if you're like me and got lazy and didn't want to do all that wiring and got like a uh, X-Arcade and you don't, you can't plug in anything else to your X-Arcade, uh, I'll just show you what I did. Well, I originally was gonna, gonna hack a, jo a, joyst a joystick pad. Uh, you can see I just soldered uh, both of those. I don't even know what, uh, the right terminology. That's how simple this is. Um, so, all you need to do is basically, well I, I did this kind of ghetto, I put the both grounds and both of the, since basically it's going to be the same thing, uh, well, I'm going to assign two different buttons for player one and player two, I just one button, so I saw, I joined these two together and, and, uh, and I just soldered, uh, the, just soldered a cable for, from these two switches, remember the first and the second one, ignore the third one, believe me, that was pretty annoying to figure out. Uh, I just soldered it to these two sides, as you can see. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much depth into this because there are a lot smarter people and a lot more precise videos online that you, you can just search in Google for joystick hack or even a keyboard hack if you want to. I, I don't see why, you just need one button. Uh, as you can, it does work perfectly, it was simple enough. Uh, if you need help, just email me, just send me a message, or make a comment. I'll check it out fairly often for the next couple of months. Uh, if it wasn't clear enough, I will make another video if asked by more people. But it should be simple enough if you get... That's actually the one thing I want to see people show me. And, uh, yeah. Oh, well, I'll, I'll just throw in a little bonus. Oh, sorry, I have to take it out. Well, as you can see, I did kind of, kind of ghetto. I just use old speaker wires uh, to make my wiring, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, when I bought this coin door, it actually came with these two things already joined, and just traced the, along that, and I found uh, the two little switches. Actually soldered them and didn't have electric tape, so I, I figured I just used uh, just used regular duct tape. Uh, it's simple enough. Any old cell phone charger cable you have, or believe me, don't ever throw that type of thing away. If you're if you built an arcade, I'm pretty sure you will use those type of things again. Well, any questions, I will be happy to show you guys. Oh. And don't mind all that disgusting wiring or fire hazard. Uh, see ya.